Hello everybody. I am a big fan of anything that saves me time. And I've been using Bangs in DuckDuckGo for several months now. And I'm surprised that people aren't more interested in this or maybe just don't quite understand how it works or even know that it even exists. People really are kind of hot and cold on DuckDuckGo. I'm I'm a big fan. I really I like the search results that I get from DuckDuckGo. Uh, on occasion, I'll wonder if maybe I'm not getting the result that I expected or wanted. In those cases, there's a actually a bang for uh, doing a Google search uh, right from DuckDuckGo. I just wanted to make a really quick video about how this works and introduce you guys to the concept if you aren't familiar and just demonstrate how I use it and how it works. So. Um, the concept basically is you use an exclamation point and then a shortcut. And this isn't like a new thing. K Runner, you know, and KDE has something very similar. So, I mean, this, this isn't like they're breaking new ground. But what I really like about it is, you know, by default anymore, when I think of something, I start a, you know, browsing session, I'm going to a page, whatever it is, I'm usually in search in most cases. I do have some shortcuts and favorites and that sort of stuff but for the most part i'm just jumping into the search engine right and or, or i'm actually let's say i'm jumping into the search bar so what i mean by that is i'm jumping up into the address bar and whether or not that means i'm actually using a search engine result or whether i'm just using history so um you know if i was looking for big daddy linux by chance there you go i've got all these different results here um, so that's sort of my normal process to start going out and doing anything on the web. So what is interesting then about bangs is that you give more context than you normally do to a search engine. That's really what it's about to me. So I'm, I'm being specific and saying, I want to search this thing. And you can do that by searching, you know, a keyword and then saying site colon, uh, and then, you know, whatever so you can there there are ways to do that that's existed forever but it doesn't complete the search for you as if you've been to the site and so all right enough telling you about it let me let me show you an example here so i'm, I'm running manjaro uh, which is arch based and i want to see if there's something in aur now i can do that just by using like if i had i have yay uh, installed so if i did uh, yay discord you know, it's going to go out and do a search and yes, they're out there, but you know, I don't really, I'm not getting much information from this. Like I like to actually go out to the AUR and see like, okay, what's going on with this package. So if I put bang AUR discord, it's going to search the AUR and it's going to give me any keyword for discord. And if I search by popularity or sort by popularity, of course, I'm going to get discord and then the difference between seeing this result and the difference between seeing this result is I can see comments on whether or not there's a problem, whether it's working properly. So, you know, if you haven't installed packages from the AUR, it's always a good idea to come out here and look at them first. So anyway, that's, that's just one example. Uh, the other example I gave, so let's say you're not a huge fan of DuckDuckGo well, maybe not, maybe not that. Maybe you are suspecting that the result you're getting in DuckDuckGo isn't like the best result. Well, you can actually use a bang to search Google. So my search engine is DuckDuckGo here. If I just search for anything, my result is gonna be DuckDuckGo. But let's say I wanna see what a different result would be or what the result from Google would be. I'm gonna put a bang, bang G fish and now it went to Google. And it's showing me, and you see the difference between the results here. And this is why I honestly like DuckDuckGo's results better is because I don't want, I, I, I don't know. I'm so used to DuckDuckGo that I don't really like these results anymore. Uh, I would rather see this result personally. But um, you can see how quickly it is, how quick it is to just, you know, jump into that. And so those are two small examples. And if you come out to... DuckDuckGo slash bang, uh, they have 12,547 and counting. And so you can search through here. Like another one that I use a lot is Mozilla Development Network 
for web stuff. So if I say MDN uh, padding, you know, whatever, um, it takes me right to the MDN web docs and I can get straight into that. So it's, it's just, again, it saves so much time and I can't think of if I've found, if I've tried one that didn't work. I mean, you can see that I just have a short list here, but um, and you can you can search for for any of them, and you can also make suggestions. So if there's one missing, you can add it in. All right. Well, I think you get the point. And really, again, this was just intended to be a quick tip type of video. So there you go. Thanks for coming and checking this out, and I will see you again soon.